If the baseline ECG is normal, ST elevation and ST depression are very easy to recognize. But if the baseline ECG has deranged STT waves, as is seen in left bundle branch block or pacemaker induced rhythms, recognition of superimposed STT wave changes can be challenging, but it's not impossible. Before we begin, we must have a clear picture of the changes seen in left bundle branch block. The premise of ECG changes is sequential rather than simultaneous depolarization of chambers of the heart, such that the fast depolarization of septum and right ventricle through the conduction system is followed by slow myocyte to myocyte depolarization of left ventricle. Instead of left bundle branch, the wave of septal depolarization starts from the right bundle branch, such that the wave spreads towards V6 and away from V1 leading to positive deflection in V6 and negative deflection in V1. This is followed by depolarization of right ventricle towards V1 and away from V6. This causes positive deflection in lead V1 and negative deflection in lead V6. Now, it's the turn for left ventricle to depolarize. The wave of depolarization moves towards V6 and away from V1. This leads to positive deflection in lead V6 and negative deflection in lead V1. Hence, the final QRS morphology resembles W in lead V1 and M in lead V6. As the right side of the heart depolarizes so early, it repolarizes early as well. That is, the wave of repolarization starts from the right heart and then moves towards the left heart. So, the wave points towards the lead V6 and away from lead V1. This leads to negative STT wave changes in lead V6 and positive STT wave changes in lead V1. This is the final morphology. We can see W pattern in lead V1. The ST and T wave changes are in the opposite direction to the W pattern. We can see M pattern in lead V6. The ST and T wave changes are in the opposite direction to the M pattern. This is known as appropriate discordance and this is to be expected in left bundle branch block. This brings us back to the original question. How do you recognize MI in the setting of left bundle branch block? This can be done by using the modified Scarbosa criteria. Although this may sound difficult, the basic concept is really easy. Let's look at lead V1. We can see W pattern with appropriate discordance in ST and T waves. If we superimpose ST segment elevation upon it, then the discordance will increase while if we superimpose ST segment depression upon it, there will be concordance. So, concordance bad, excessive discordance bad, some amount of discordance good. That is the Scarabossa criteria. In more technical terms, the Scarabossa criteria looks like this. Number 1. Concordant ST segment elevation of at least 1 mm in at least 1 lead. Number 2. Concurrent ST segment depression of at least 1 mm in at least one of the three leads, V1, V2, or V3. Number 3. Proportionally excessive discordant ST segment elevation in at least one lead with at least 1 mm ST segment elevation as defined as greater than or equal to 25% of the depth of the preceding S wave. So, the take home message is concordance bad, excessive discordance bad, some amount of discordance good. Please note that the Scarbosa criteria can also be used in case of right ventricular paced rhythms. So let's try to solve a case together. This is Homer. He is chronic hypertensive and this is his baseline ECG. Please pause the video and try to solve this ECG. We can see prolonged QRS duration of greater than 3 small squares, M pattern in lead V5 and V6, dominant S wave in lead V1, and appropriately discordant STT waves. So he is suffering from left bundle branch block, most likely due to his chronic hypertension. He now presents to the emergency department with the complaints of central chest pain radiating to his left arm and diaphoresis. This is his ECC now. Does he have myocardial infarction? Please pause the video and try to solve this case. Let's use the Scarbosa criteria. 
we know that concordance bad and excessive discordance bad. Here we can see concordance in lead V2. So, based on the Scarbosa criteria, he has myocardial infarction.